Hi everybody, I'm Elizabeth, she's Paula, and we come from the end of the world only for represent you balance, intelligent wellness. We love wellness and because of that we started practicing yoga a few years ago. In the practice many times we used to feel our feet cold and unprotected and that got us disconcentrated. We are designers, we can make practitioners life better. So we went outside the building to test, to ask 20 practitioners about their real problems. In that we realize they are not only yoga practitioners, also from Pilates, Tai Chi, dance, and theater, and many other wellness performance. Um, we are sure many of you might practice some wellness performance. If so, you will understand and more certainly have experienced one or more of the reasons that gave our, our project some great spin-offs. So it wasn't only pain, only cold and bacteria, it was also Sli sliding due to transpiration, instability sensation, and twisted stalks, and some relate they suffer pain and irritate skin by many reasons. So we must develop a solution for this huge amount of needs. W in our university, in school design, they teach us get the value from our own resources. Like Chile is a country of copper, we pick it up and create a solution using that unique and hygienic quality for this low-cost mineral. We, for that, we ask two technology institutions. Finally, we get the help from a professor of chemistry and nanotechnology. He was so excited to see the opportunity to bring the real life all their investigations. He let us experiment with his tests and materials. Well, in the lab, we mix it copper particles with PVC and textile, but the results make feet sweat. We ask to a materials professor, and uh, he suggests us use natural latex. We mix it with copper, but the results look dirty and unfinished. And finally, we ask an uh, expert from Clarion Chemistry. He, he provides us a non slip silkness material, and after I mixed it with copper, the result was great. The, this looks really, this, these are, didn't slide, and let us ex give a big qualities and graphic, attractive graphic designs. But um, the mixture we made and uh, storage after a couple of days look uh, undesirable changes like rust in it. Finally, we changed the copper particles and the costs were reduced in 80%. <laughs> that was really great. Well, we sent the samples to microbiology lab and this show copper killed 99.9% of bacteria. Well, we meet with experts, with orthopedists, and they, we find they're not, they, they have <coughs> studies from yoga, yoga instructors have orthopedist degrees and they recommend us incorporate an arc support. Well, for, for tasting the, the, uh, the ideas, the, um, the pivots, and uh, for tasting the actions, we develop a minimum viable product, but first, w this stage was very difficult. We made so many tasted with one shoe between toes and with a band for arc support, but it looked really, really weird and Cut the blood, blood circulation, and finally we, we add a specific uh, add a add a material between toes, and that was comfortable. But I, we try without heel, but the, this crinkle and out by the rubbing mat. And finally, we get our minimum viable product, who have non-slip surface, sporty fabrics, and separation between toes, and an art support. We tested it with 100 wellness practitioners and instructors. They noted the balance and the perfect, that didn't, slid, didn't slide, and they asked for bow it and how much is it was, and they suggest us don't have the separation between toes and other love the separation between toes and other suggest us a long styles for winter to not having to wax. <laughs> the 50% instructor was interested in being sellers for the nearly uh, relationship with the practitioners. We will sell to, uh, we think sell to and special stores on our website. 
this is the website. Uh, well, we we think start the pin pin deal kneel it in Chile uh, after to sell it international or export it. Well, um, this is our value proposition. Is a balance is an ergonomic footwear with copper tech that incorporate a non-slip surface with copper and an arc support. Uh, it comes in four styles, short, long, with the toes and in covering toes and long, long and short. <laughs> Well, w the price was range about the gold, gold, gold substitute like socks with toes and vibrant five fingers, and our the perception w we taste with forty practitioners and instructors. They said ye they will pay for it between thirty and fifty dollars. Um, the pr well. In the first time, we think for the best qualities and fabrics we will produce in China. We quote the prototypes in, in Asia, but the we need products more than 60% of units. And the range time for one year. That was so much units and time for this first step of our startup. Finally, we prefer have a known workshop in Chile. With that, we can develop so much designs faster, and we can give work in Chile and have a fair trade, have a um, protection the worker with our working, and um, we can be look how the 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 prototypes are comport how the product comport how is the reception with the customers and um, we won't be a B certificated for have a complete value proposition rather than compete at uh, low prices well our time in Chile is more than 100 million dollars we make a research in Chile and um, we I think in a lapsus of five, five, four or five years, we might can sell one more than $100 million. And the market size in US is, is growing up constantly. In was a growth for more than one, 8 million pe practitioners in Pilares and Yoga to 2011, more than 30 million practitioners. Canvas, uh, with the canvas and all the pivots, we made uh, 20 prototype tests, uh, 160 customer interviews between 10 and 30 minutes in 10 wellness centers, uh, many material samples, and 10 experts interview from different areas, validate 10 of our 14 hypotheses. So, uh, with the canvas, we were able to develop a design project. Let us ide identify practitioners' wellness like our principal customers and the instructors like first channels and relationships with customers. In K resource, resource copper fabric touch, the silk screener, uh, our own workshop, and the ARC support. The partnership with University of Chile and constant investigation and design are our first, no, our principal K okay activities and link it all in the best value proposition. Finally, with the canvas flexi uh, flexibility, we could materialize our values and uh, principles, developing a fair and close production line. We are all benefited. It's just not uh, utilities for us. It's utilities for anybody, uh, for, from, for everybody, but furthermore, it's not just good living for us. It's good living for everybody involved in balance, because balance is intelligent wellness. Feel good, live better. Thank you very much. So I um, wanted to understand more. As I understand it, currently you produce 
for a $12 cost, mm -hmm. and then what price do you sell that to at your distribution channel? It sounds like instructors and maybe some wholesale channels. What price do you sell to them? And have you done any testing with the instructors and the channels and sold anything to them yet? In Chile, we manage about 20% the we w will <laughs> give us the the practitioner the instructor will sell that final range price between 30 and 50 dollars for four styles but we are going to receive less less because are going to sell the same price in website than than instructors so it's clear How much do you how much do you receive from instructors who are selling? What price do they buy it's from? Fifteen dollars, twenty dollars, twenty dollars approximately. Okay. Have you sold any products? We, we really don't want sell it now because sell it because have so many details. We must to resolve with the specific machines we are going to buy buy it mm -hmm. and but we have many reservations we in have our orders website. already we have orders uh, we made um, uh, like a website and we send some emails to our possible uh, customers and we are uh, we we didn't sell uh, already but because we are talking about a market of wellness and we want to have a, the best product because you can you can't sell a product and if it's not working yeah, yeah. how so many pre-orders do you have in terms of um, uh, in one day we receive six orders uh -huh. but I really don't <laughs> review the yeah. website now uh, I think it's like a uh, 50 but 50? it was uh, um, just, All uh, just traveling. We before to came here, we uh, we did that to to know uh, about the interest. Uh. Yeah. So you out of you know how many yoga studios did you visit? So say out of ten yoga studios, you sold fifty, or what would be the right number, the right uh, ratio? T uh, ten uh, wellness centers, but. Uh, we visited uh, another well, in, in t about ten centers with two instructors for each center. We have the link, and they are interested in be sellers. Okay, great, thank you. Can I just dig deeper on this? I'm I'm curious <laughs> if you when you say pre-sales, do you got credit card information? Do you because you have something that you know? I think I would buy this, right? So did you really tr do a real transaction? Because there's no reason I think you shouldn't do a real transaction. So I'm just very curious. Did uh, is pre sales pre -sales credit card is, information? Uh, no, it's like uh, it's for to know uh, how many people it's interesting. Uh, you ask for the or the order that we have? Order is yeah, reservation. So, yeah. so like I'll give reservation. you an example. Um, when we wrote our book on business models, mm -hmm. we got people to pay us before we even wrote a line mm -hmm. of the book. So I was just curious that y you seem to be holding back on selling. Uh, That's all I'm saying. N never mind, it's perfect. It's, it's okay. perfect. <laughs> <laughs> just pushing back a little bit. Um, so one of the things, um, more bigger question maybe is, in this market, brand is an enormous issue. You don't have a, a brand, I mean, uh, I don't mean just a logo, um, it's very hard to compete on a large scale. What did you think about branding? Um, you know, if you go to a global market, there's no reason you shouldn't reach a global market with this. And did you test anything around that branding um, scheme? Uh, if you test the logo, uh, sorry. Uh, brand. The, brand, Con the logo? consumer brand, like the yeah, logo? no, or no. Business so business to business. Nike has a brand. Um, Balance has a logo. So I'm mm -hmm. wondering if you have thought about how you can scale this into a globally visible brand, so everybody oh. in Switzerland and in Boston knows Balance. Uh, 
Okay. We think we can make business to business, but only selling designs, especially designs for the brand if asked for us. Not but we want keep the brand, our brand because we love the brand and I think maybe if you can translate if somebody can translate the question. Eh, lo que prácticamente están preguntando es cómo piensan agrandar la marca o llevarla global. O sea, se han, se han pensado en llevarlo como que al mercado globalmente. Eh, hemos pensado que podría venderse como a tiendas especializadas en el mercado de, del wellness o del yoga eh, por colecciones, como preservando nuestra marca, pero eh, que desarrolla una colección especial para ciertas marcas más grandes. So they're thinking of going into special brands, uh, yeah, globally, but preserving the brand itself. So they really have want to find the niche of the industry and then reach out to them. But they really want to preserve the brand of what they stand for. Like partnership could be. be because you could very well think of licensing something mm -hmm. like this to a global brand, right? That's another possible mm -hmm. business model. And you could test that as well as to going your own path, right? So you might just want to. Pues podrían pensar como alternativa, tal vez como vender la licencia como que una marca más grande y, y como que tener como que mejores barreras de entrada a, a mercados globalmente. Today in the in the booth in the booth, <laughs> booth in the, uh, we will we receive a lot of ideas of that and we have to think about that uh, because. Um, That is possible if we, we work with a good, uh, with a, with a good brand. Um, it's possible, but um, we are because now we have uh, we need some support, some business support, because we are starting and we know that um, we have to study the patterns, uh, all that. But it's a possibility. So th the central element of the value proposition is the antimicrobial agent, is that correct? The yeah. Yes, and also uh, the support. The, the support. The art support, uh, who, you know, what? That, the, that the distribute it, the weight. Distribute body? the, uh, the, the, the weight, weight body. The body, and also gives you More so, so I'm guessing what's differentiated, there must be other socks on the market yes. that pr provide the support. So it's really the antimicrobial agent that's different from what's on the market. How long does the effectiveness last? The socks, I'm sure you want to wash them, right? So does, does the effectiveness decline over yes. time? The, the technology is provide us the University of Chile, and they make many tests of the, the efficiency and the long time are during but we think it for watching it can be uh, one year one year and one year okay thank because you because the particles go mm -hmm. Steve, did you have any questions for the team sure i i was just confused how many people are w wearing these socks now uh, no wearing um only two only we, we oh, <laughs> no Now uh, we ha have have given uh, so number, some just number, two. We two. are wearing. They are wearing uh, five in in Chile. No, are testing it. I'm sorry. Is the number five? They have yeah. a lot of interest, but they only have two users themselves. No, yeah. but no. Uh, hay otras instructores testeándolos. Oh, so they they have instructors. Cinco. Five instructors ahora, ahora. trying them out. A and did they say they were working on machinery and buying things now? They need the capital for that machinery. Yes. <laughs> okay, and, and why, why aren't there more people using the socks? Because they're not really finished. Uh, we need the perfect sales, 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 sales. the customers. So. Cause, uh, so it's so. not a final product. They, they still need to fix uh, the details. So it's a working process. Mm. Okay. Thank you. Thank you too. Thank you. Good job. Thank okay. you very much. Thank you.